and welcome to my channel once again this is daniel for d vibes entertainment and remember every monday i release a new video and today we're going to be dealing with the glass bars in photos just like this Oh yeah, and not forgetting, if you are watching my video for the very first time, all you have to do is subscribe on the button and don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss any other video that I'll be uploading. Well, we go straight on to our software and the first thing you want to do is upload some photos that you're going to be using in your project. So I'll just select a couple of photos here. think four of them will be enough so these are the four photos I've selected I'll just drag them and drop them into my software okay and when they upload the next thing is drag them onto the timeline just like that so basically these are some these are my photos that I'm going to be using today do is highlight your photos just like that and then right click when you right click you go to nest and nest your photos so that they are in one and click ok just like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate these particular photos this nested sequence here all I need to do is just press the alt delete another copy and also delete a third copy but this time around put it on track 4 and leave a space just like I've done here so then you go to title new title and you say default steel under default steel you can name your title glass bar just a way just as a way to to remember that particular title that you're actually dealing with then you press ok So it will direct you to another box as you can see this is it right here so I'll go to my tools box right here and then I select and then I select the rectangle tool I'll click that and come and draw one long one just like that okay you can determine any shape that you want doesn't matter then you will go to color and give it a white color go right in the corner and say okay as you can see this is it and then you go back to your tools box and you click the rotational tool and you come right here in your shape that you've just created and tilt it just like that in any angle that you feel is appropriate for you so I'll go back and get my selection tool and just drag my shape right to the corner just like that now because I want to create other shapes of the same size now instead of having to go back to my tools box and selecting the shape again what I need to do is I'll just make more copies of this so I'll go in my shape right here right click I say copy Again, you right click and say paste now of course it has copied and created another shape all I need to do is just drag from my original shape and drag it right to the next corner just like that okay so I need more copies so I'll just go back to my original shape right click I click copy again I click paste and then I can drag out another shape as you can see this time around I want to create a smaller shape so I'll just drag it and create a smaller shape just like that then I'll go back to my original shape again copy and paste and come just right here and create another shape
W3, just like that. Remember the composite using, you're using mat alpha, so you can just leave that the way it is. So here we are, and we've dropped our mate into video three. The next thing you want to do is scroll up, go to motion, and under scale, you come and give this a 120, and you enter just like that. So, so as you can see, we've already created some bars within our photos just like that okay so the next thing you want to do is undo the toggle track on video 4 and also on video 5 just like that then you're going to get your track track mate key and drop it under video 4 just below here and you'll drag it there and then you'll go back to your effects control right up into motion remember our nested sequence on video 4 is the one that is highlighted so you go to scale click it this time around I'll give it a 125 and I'll enter okay and then I'll go down to my trackmate key remember we dropped our trackmate key just on video 4 I'll go to my mate and this time around under video I'll click and I'll click on video 5 okay just like that okay as you can see I've already created some bars now so the next thing I'm going to do is try and create some kind of motion within my bars so that they can move from one side to another and all I have to do is select one of the glass bars as you can see it is highlighted then I'll go to my effects control up here down to motion I'll click position okay just like that and then I'll just drag my moving bar till the middle around there and then I'll come to the, my first numbers here and just drag them to my right hand side it doesn't matter how much you drag them then I'll drag my bar again and create another keyframe towards the end there again I'll go to my other bars right on top here just click them and then go to effects control right here Drag my bar and create other keyframes. I'll go to position, click just like that, and I'll drag it also to the middle, just around there. This time around, I want to first drag them to the opposite side, drag them to my left hand side, just like that, and then create other keyframes towards the end and this time around drag them to my right hand side just like that okay so basically I have something like this when it's all done okay as you can see my glass bars I'm moving and the end result of all this should be something like this and please don't forget to subscribe on my channel remember I put out a video every Monday and Friday and I hope this video will work for you in your editing and I hope you enjoyed it Please don't forget to subscribe onto my channel and don't forget to click on the bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. That is it from me to you. Catch me in the next video.